The first coping with a terrible crime. Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. A mother speaks out exclusively to 2 News about her daughter, Carly Hewley, who was shot and killed along with Demetrius Beckwith on Thursday of last week. The suspect in this case, Harvey Jones, was in court today. His bond set at $300,000. Jordan Burgess live with our top story on why the family does not want the daughter's death to be in vain. Well, the family tells me they will have ribbons like this one at Carly's funeral tomorrow. The pink is because it was her favorite color, and the purple represents the fight against domestic violence. They hope it can save others before it's too late. In life, as in cooking, what's important is what you do with the ingredients you're given. Carly Hewley knew the right recipes for both. She was a free spirit. Um, she's very artistic, very talented could cook her tail off. I mean, she could cook. Carly had spent the last five years helping out with creations like this dish for the restaurant Rue de Maine. She learned from watching her mom, Delcia Taylor. While most 10-year-olds were cooking with Chef Boyardee, she was mastering her own recipes. Her dishes have been making mouths water ever since. Well, maybe not at first. Everything she fixed, she had stuffed garlic in the chicken to the point of where we couldn't eat garlic for a while because she would just, she just loved the taste of garlic. But the girl with a taste for food and life was shot and killed last week at her Catalpa Crossing apartment along with 29-year-old Demetrius Beckwith. Soon after, deputies arrested Harvey Jones, an ex-boyfriend of Hugh Lee's. The sheriff says the person who led them to Jones was Hugh Lee's 10-year-old son. He witnessed the shooting and then went next door to get help. He's a strong little boy. Um, he's a very strong little boy, but um, we just have to make sure that he gets through this. Delcia hopes her daughter's death can prevent others. Aside from the domestic violence ribbons that will be handed out at the funeral, mourners can also sign a petition in favor of gun control. He was a convicted felon. Why did he have a gun? How was he able to get a gun? Their questions family members are trying to deal with as they attempt to get used to a life now missing one of its key ingredients. I just remember that beautiful smile and laughter she had for everybody. That's it. Now Carly's funeral is tomorrow at Faith United Church in Middletown. The funeral for the other victim in this case, Demetrius Beckwith, will be Wednesday at Corinthian Baptist Church in Dayton. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.